Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you the differences between 2D and 3D while we make this sculpture. First, I'm going to start by cutting this paper into strips. So today, I'm going to show you how to make a paper sculpture. Um, traditionally, a regular artwork piece is a 2D. Uh, type of piece that is uh, has a height and a length. However, a paper sculpture has a height, a length, and a depth. So we're going to be creating a three-dimensional paper sculpture. First thing you want to do is cut out the strips out of paper. Now I'm using a yellow manila folder uh, type of paper for my background and a copy print paper for my sculpture. So the very first thing we're going to do is have our materials. So we have our background, our paper, and um, some sort of glue stick, right? I'm going to be using the uh, Elmer's glue. And so what you want to do for your first piece is simply apply glue right at the base, at the edge right here. Mine is purple. When it dries, it dries clear, and that way we'll know that it's dry and you want to go ahead and place it on your um, manila or whatever background paper you're using and hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we're going to go ahead and take the opposite side, put glue on that end, and our glue, and simply play, bring that closer to the first point somehow so that it raises up a little bit. And so your paper will have and will be able to hold that for 10 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is not a hard uh, project. It's just a little bit of, uh, it'll work a little bit on your patience. So you'll just need a little bit of patience. So now you can see that we have a length and a width, but we also have a depth. So you can see that there's height to my sculpture now, as opposed to a 2D art, which would be flat. This is not flat, this is now a 3D sculpture. And now that we have our first piece, I'm gonna show you how to add another piece in a different way. So we're gonna start with the same method of putting glue on one end first. And you can let's go ahead and place that one here. Hold it down for 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this time, instead of putting it closer this way, what we're going to do is we're going to basically simply turn it just like that. Okay, so that means that the glue will have to go underneath here. So we'll go ahead and place it the right side up so that we can add the glue and then simply turn it. And that will be our next piece that will hold for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we can let go. So the next piece is going to be a curve like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that one, I think diagonally right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that right on there. And hold that for 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we're going to bring it back, twirl it around, and bring it back up. Now you can leave it here and make a loop. Let's do that. Why don't we do that? Let's make a loop. So that means it's going to have to go here. So let's go ahead and we'll make a loop. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that little thing sticking out there. This is what my paper sculpture is looking like now. So it's not flat. It's definitely coming up towards me as I lay it flat on the table. And the next piece, we're gonna do the same thing as we did before, but this time we're gonna take a little bit further. So we're gonna put 
this one right about, I want to say, I don't know where I want to put it, right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to bring it around, and instead of leaving a loop, I'm going to pull it back like that. really want to pull it back. Oh, how about if we spread it? Yes, I think this will look really great. So we're going to get it yeah, like this. So that loop is closed out and pulled back more. So instead of just like this, you can even take it further and bring two loops if you wanted to. Go ahead and do that. Do two loops. All right, the next way we are going to fold this paper is in a zigzag. So this time I'm going to take the pink paper and I'm basically going to take, I'm going to eyeball it about an inch, so about the thickness of my thumb. I'm just going to eyeball it. And I'm going to fold it right on itself. So you can see it's folded right here. And I'm going to take it back and fold it again back like an accordion. And we're going to be repeating that process several times until the end. And that's another way that you can do your sculpture with paper. And so I'm just going to go back and forth and back and forth and keep repeating this as straight as possible. And the edges are right on top of each other. So that it's uh, about the, approximately the same size back and forth. took a pink I'm gonna go ahead and continue with pink and I'm simply gonna show you how you can continue working with this so on this one I'm going to create another loop and this little piece of paper is a little bit thinner and I think I'm going to position it this way here and what I'll do is I'll wrap it around this one and put it through right here. So that means that the glue will need to be on the underside. And so I'm affecting both pieces, this one and that one, as it's going through. And I'll make it end right here. And I'll count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And your sculpture should start looking pretty cool once you see it from the sides. You can see the dimensionality as well on this one. I think I'm going to put something underneath that one with a contrasting color so it really stands out. Okay, 
actually want this to be standing up like that. I think I kind of like that. So this time I'm going to show you, you can actually be very free with this. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this glue right down the strip. So it kind of goes on the board and on the other piece of paper to hold it in place. And what I'm gonna do this time is I'm going to use two glues together side by side to create a long strip. So what I'm gonna do is simply add the glue. I'm gonna try a little bit there before we start using it. So in the meantime, I'm gonna try to use the green while, that, while this dries. And we're gonna do a zigzag. So we'll do a thin zigzag. Um, my thumb this time. And you can be random with the sizes. It doesn't have to be a particular size. This is your own free style, it's sort of just a free piece of art that you can do randomly however you want. I kind of want to come around this one right here. I'm not entirely sure how. I think, what if we place it right there? I think that would be kind of cool. And this is what it would look like from the side. I think that'd be cool. Let's try to do that. Oh, it looks fabulous. I really like it. That looks great, doesn't it? All right, so we keep building like this and then just use your imagination on how this might look. And here is our dried blue long two piece. So I've used two pieces for this. And I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna do this, but I kind of want it to go up and maybe it'll be a big curve. Maybe the curve should be like right underneath that piece. So it lifts it up and it helps it stay up. Oh yeah, that looks really cool. So let's go ahead and put some glue on this. I'm gonna put it straight on at the board. And I need to visualize where that curve is going to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it. And hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Because this is such a long piece, I want to go ahead and glue this down so it doesn't really move out of place, but it continues. So I'm putting the glue straight on the board and then holding this down.
All right, guys, let me show you what we have going sideways. <laughs> I think it's looking fantastic. You got a lot of interest in every direction that we turn it. And it just seems very playful. I hope the colors are um, helpful for you to see uh, the different way the paper is going. And that's why I chose these different colors. Tell me about your favorite part of this project. What did you like best? Type it in the comments. If you like learning what the differences are between 2D and 3D with this simple paper sculpture, press the like button and subscribe for future videos. Thank you for allowing me to show you how to do this simple paper sculpture.